morning. It's uh, Friday morning of the Redemption Tour 2024, Northern Minnesota, Red Lake. We're back. It's seven, quarter after seven in the morning. Just got the first mark. Got denied. I'm uh, using the dinner bell right now, and I did not have a minnow head on it. Yesterday, I was going back and forth whether they were hitting on minnows or they were not hitting on minnows or tipped with minnow heads. So that was the first denial, so I'm going to get the minnow head back on there. If you watched the first one, thanks for watching Bear Hug Outdoors. That was a great episode. We smashed some fish on the first day here. Hoping that today is going to be the same. Day number two. We're going to hope today is going to be another day of walleye smashing. Getting them on top. And uh, taking some fillets home to, to eat on. Because we are harvesting a couple uh, fish this trip, so... Okay, I'm going to get a minnow tipped on this uh, dinner bell, and we're going to get back down there and see if we can get a couple. Holy cow, this fish is a big mark. Oh, I got him. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a decent mark. He's a decent lie. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. That sucker come out of nowhere. He come in in hot pursuit. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Upper Red Lake Walleyes Redemption Tour 2024. We are on them. Putting the absolute hammer down right now. Woo! Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful walleye. Oh, he absolutely housed the dinner bell. Absolutely housed it. That's what we're looking for right there. Yeah, buddy. Taking it right down. Absolutely crushed the dinner bell. Oh, man. What size is this bad boy? Is this my... One over. Are you kidding me? This isn't even. Oh, wow. Beautiful fish. Got one on me right now. He's following it up. He's right about in the middle of the water. There he is. Oh, yeah, he couldn't resist it. Oh. Damn, he's already on the bottom. He could not resist it. All right. Not a bad start. God damn it. Not a bad start. Yes. Not a bad start. Oh, there was a that this fish came flying out of nowhere. He came flying out of nowhere. Wow, he aggressive. Easy. Yeah. Not that big. Not that. Oh, don't go in there. Not that big, but I was sitting there messing with that perch. <clears throat> well, sitting there messing with that perch. And this little guy comes zooming up out of nowhere. That was awesome. Hope I got that. Hope I got that on the live on the live scopes. I don't know if I turned the camera on in time. That was sweet. I just wanted to point out how perfectly this guy's hooked. I'm using that mini tantrum right now. And he came up and just tried to drill it and hooked him right on the bottom of the chin. Holy cow, look at that school of fish that just came in. Oh, they came in and left quick. Probably didn't get it. So if you guys ever go ice camping, I wanted to give you a little hack. A lot of people don't know this, but if you're getting hungry, it's lunchtime or dinner time, and you haven't caught any fish, and you got nothing to fry, and maybe you didn't bring anything with you, I'm going to show you what... What, what's going on in these holes if you're not pulling any fish up through these holes 
all you got to do is just reach down in the hole and just feel around feel around and bam lunch meat feel around a little more there's got to be something else in here what else is in here maybe oh man even a beverage is in there how about that a beverage there's got to be some more in here can't just be lunch me oh hot dogs even and they're ice cold how about that yep a lot of people don't know that little hack but that's ice shack hack if you're not catching fish you just gotta look in the hole and they leave snacks down there for you they leave lunch meat hot dogs uh beverages heck i even found an orange juice down there one time check your hole find something good so it's day two <clears throat> so it's day two of the uh, redemption tour i just came up to jr's and they were kind to uh, let me use their plugins and charge up the uh, garmin and all that because i don't have power at the house at the uh, fish shack out there i don't have a generator so i came up here charged up the garmin i'm curious how far out the shack is so i'm gonna set my odometer right now at zero zero we're leaving uh shore right now we're gonna head out to i'm on road 13 so we're gonna head out there see how far out on upper red lake i am right now i'm gonna guess and say it's five miles i mean i don't have an idea but it takes a while to get out there so i'm gonna say five miles and i want to get out there soon because it's a uh, turning into an absolute white out right now so i want to get out there before i can't find where my where my place is at <clears throat> all right we'll see you out there this place is crazy it's just absolutely huge it's mind-boggling um on how many shacks are out here It'd be so easy to get lost and not find your place again so definitely recommend you come out here use your phone drop a pin so you know how to get back to where you to where you started because it's it's huge mile marker number four Okay, uh, that's mile number five. I guess five miles. I think I said five miles. I'll have to check the tape. And this is five miles in a straight line. We're not talking zigzags. This is a straight shot out here. So we're more than five miles out. I haven't seen the street signs yet, or I guess they're called lake signs out here. I'm on uh, number 13. So once I start seeing those, I know we're getting close. Well, there you have it. I'm here at the fish, back at the shack, and uh, 6.9 miles, almost seven miles out in the middle of the lake. That is crazy. That is a huge, huge lake. Unbelievable, out here in the middle of no. Okay, so I just got back to the shack. Yeah, after lunch here, and just threw a, another minnow on the rattle wheel instantly something's playing with it which i already know what that is it's going to be perch it's just barely grabbing it i forget what the number count is right now but i'm like 0 for 7 or 0 for 8 on the rattle wheel so that way i know it's just perch like look it's just barely barely tweaking along try to hit them just to get rid of this dang thing those little perch we're looking for those jumbo maybe that's it oh now i gotta check my minnow anyway oh i think i actually oh i did have one a little perch i saw it he just sitting there gnawing on this dead minnow is he dead might as well be all right all right, I got nothing on this jig right now. I'm just testing to see if they're wanting a minnow on it or not. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure that was the denial by a perch. So, looks like I'm going to have to tip it with a minnow head right now. Uh, maybe not. He came back. Let's see. Let's see. He might take it. He's right there. Let's see if he comes back for that. Got a big mark right underneath my... Uh, where'd he go? Took off. Got one on me right now. Come on. Oh. Oh, he's a good size mark. He's a good size mark. There he is. He's coming back. There he is. Oh, yeah. That's decent. Oh, not that big. Not that big, but he's all right. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect hook set. Right in the beak. Look at that. Both hooks on him. Both hooks. Both hooks on them. Both hooks right in the beak. That's what we like to see right there. Look at that guy. Perfect. Perfect. Not an eater. We're going to throw him back. There he is again. There he is. There he is. Finally got him to eat. Finally got him to eat. Yes. Oh, he's nice. Finally got him to eat. Oh, oh he's not he's not as big as I thought he was. He's not big at all. He's not big at all, but Oh, it's not big at all. This can't be the guy. If it is, man. <laughs> I tell you what though, nice fish, beautiful looking fish. Slam the dinner bell. Wow, what a beautiful fish. There's a bigger one down there. This guy might have just came in while the other one was circling, but nice fish. Well, he's all, he's shaking. <laughs> that was awesome. He just flew out of nowhere. And video this because I didn't think I was gonna. I am 0 for 7 on the rattle wheel. It spun one time, so I just go to check it because there was not, it wasn't doing nothing. And I got one on here. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! I got my first fish on the rattle wheel. This little fat perch just housed. I mean, just housed it. Took down that big fat minnow. Unbelievable. I did. Oh, this other one's coming up for it. They're. Oh, wow. The other one had it, and then they, they come up and competed for it. That was awesome. Wow. No way. Big jumbo. Oh, not a huge jumbo. Another nice perch, you guys. Another nice perch. Okay, we got a decent mark just creeping along the floor right there. Just creeping along the floor, nice and steady. I don't know what that is. That might be a just that might be a big jumbo perch. We'll see. I want to think it's a perch, and I'm just gonna stay low. I'm gonna stay low for this guy. Cause he's coming way too slow to be a walleye, I think. Usually the walleyes, they'll come in a little bit faster and just a little bit higher. Seems like today all the perch have been just sucked right to the bottom. I mean, this guy is put it in turtle mode right now. Well, he might not even come over. Okay. All right, let's see what happens if I put it down in the mud. Let's see if that turns him on. No. Back on the bottom. No. Does nothing for you? Nothing? One more time. No. Okay, he just put the brakes on. He just stopped. All right, well, I think that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to shut it down for the night. Day two of the Redemption Tour. Red Lake, Upper Red Lake, absolutely smashed them again today, all morning, 
all night, uh, nighttime, night bite. It's phenomenal. Day one, phenomenal. Day two, phenomenal. It is great. I mean, we're just hammering them left and right. So, one more day left. One more day left of the trip. So, maybe day three could be just as good. Maybe it'll be better. I don't know. But uh, tomorrow we move out of here because we only had it for two days. That's all they had available. And we're moving into the shanty tomorrow. So, whew, we've been living the good life here. Uh, for a couple nights, so it's gonna get a little rough. It's gonna get a little rougher after tonight. Uh, temperatures have dropped. It's pretty cold, so we're gonna make sure we got plenty of propane and the for the little buddy heater. That little buddy heater better be working. I can tell you that. Anyway, I'm gonna shut it down. It's time to go to bed. Jump in the old bottom bunk tonight, cause I'm by myself here anyway. So I get the pick of the litter. Bottom bunk, I'm going to bed. We'll see you guys in the a.m. Fish are going to be hammering. We're going to be yanking lips. See you on day three, Redemption Tour, Red Lake. Peace. Wow. No way. That's crazy. That's uh eleven thirty four at night. He absolutely crushed. Oh, that is gone. Wow, he ate that one bite. Holy cow. Yeah, Puck is gone. Wow. Unreal. It's two o'clock in the morning. It's two o'clock in the morning. It's two o'clock in the morning. This rat wheel just took a run. Yeah, there's something on there. It's small. It's really small. Got up for that two o'clock in the morning. Wow. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This thing just choked that choked it down. No way. Two in the morning. This thing's a French fry. <clears throat> Look at this guy. Just hammered down that rainbow. Dude, that hook is down there. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs>